I thought it was kind of like weird at first because like you wouldn't think that anybody would come to peak skill and think we have that much talent to have a professional composer come in but after a while it's been good it's like he gives us options to to like make it easier or leave it the way he has it he pushes us to try harder and Over the summer, I got a phone call from our amazing superintendent, Dr. Fine, who is very supportive of the arts and wants to bring more arts into our into all of our schools in Peekskill. And he told me that he had met someone that had worked with the Copeland House uh, organization. They do many different projects, but one of their uh, works that they do is to go into different schools and work with the students. And they actually have a commissioning project that they do where they um, work with a composer, an actual composer who's been a resident composer of the Copeland House organization. And they send that composer into the schools to work with the different ensemble groups to create a piece that is uh, really originally for that group. And it's commissioned by the school district. Um, and this year we decided to take up that partnership and be able to um, work with that program and Mr. Ray Lustig has come in to work with our students uh, a bunch of times and uh, I believe they've learned a lot from the process. Ding dong bell, ding dong bell, ding dong ding dong bell, here's a merry merry bell, oh here's a ding dong bell. My goal for the project uh, at that time and now has really been to, to form a bridge. Um, I came here and I really wanted to get a sense of where the musicians were. Um, there's so many wonderfully talented young musicians here in this program who um, have such musicality and passion, um, and, but their levels in terms of their training and their level of experience um, are kind of, uh, can be very divergent. And so coming here and trying to get a sense of who was, uh, who could do what, and who liked to do what, and um, who you know what those uh, what those various ability levels and passion levels were. Once I'd figure that out, then figure out where I am in my own personal compositional journey, my own musical journey, the kinds of things I am into writing right now, the sounds I'm hearing, the world I want to create in music right now, and then find where the touch point between all of that was. So it was a big, kind of messy process, but it was a big, beautiful, messy process. So the second one begins on the third of the chord, right? Because it's in this key, right? Uh, fa sharp, fa sharp, fa sharp. On that the first one begins on the on the root, the second one on the third of the chord, and the third one begins on, back on the root again. So it was an interesting uh, process to see a professional composer uh, who doesn't know our kids come in to work with our students. And I think it was really great to see him interact with them in the beginning because he really was trying to get to know who they are. Um, because when it came to writing the piece, he wanted to have that sense of the, the peak skill students um, be reflective in the piece that he wrote. Gradually, we started to find um, where we were. And I think that for me, the challenge really was that uh, these students um, have a lot of experience um, with certain kinds of music. Um, you know, it's very divergent with even, even within the group, but as a group, they've done a lot of things together. And some of them are, you know, there's certainly overlap with things that I'm interested in, mus in, in my own music, but it's definitely, you know, quite different. And so for me, it was a real challenge to hear what they're doing, hear what they're really interested in and excited about right now, and hear um, what they're feeling really good at and confident with right now, and take all of that, listen to it, and then kind of absorb it and step away from it at a certain point and say, all right, now I have to take that, what I've learned, and think about what, what I need to do, what I want to do right now, and then see where we can find a bridge. So um, I, I think that we found some really neat, um, some neat little points that have um, both been challenges for me compositionally, but I think have also been challenges for them because there are many new things in the music. 
the piece of music that I wrote for them uh, will present some musical challenges for them. It has been, and they've been working really, really hard on them. Some of the intervals that I was gravitating toward in this piece, the musical sounds were, were a little bit different for them. I like to sort of stack up members of the scale a lot that form some unusual dissonances. So um, because uh, sometimes I, I actually split the choir up into you know, many different parts at a time. So sometimes there's only one or two people on a given line of music and it's not very intuitive what that, what that given line is of music. And so they have to really find that in their voice and find that in, in their brain and get ready to sing that with confidence because they may at that moment in the music be the only person singing that note. One, two, three, four, off. Mr. Lustig uh, was very intelligent in the way that he composed the piece. It's a canon, which means that everybody really plays the same thing but at a different time. It's really given the students confidence to work hard and be able to play something that is really very difficult for them and be able to challenge themselves and say to themselves, no, I'm, I'm going to work on this and I'm going to make it happen. And that's what they've done. Snare roll. Right? So you had a snare drum roll for three measures that led us up to K. Can we now just make that three measures of snare drum roll leading up to J? Well, I find working with the professional composer very interesting. Watching the guy write the piece or seeing what he's done and watching that grow was very interesting to watch because it was we got to see it being done before, and that's something I had never seen being done before. Well, for the piece, he gave us a lot of sharps, which is like a higher note of the note that you're supposed to be playing. And it's really hard to like make sure all of the sharps are where they're supposed to be and to stay on that point. So that's something that's really complicated, but it's fun. So. The first, the first time he came in, he showed us one of his pieces, and I asked him uh, what inspired him to make the piece, and he talked about it, and it, he really enjoyed the piece, and enjoyed, you could see he enjoyed what he was doing, and it's really inspiring to see that. It's almost surreal that you could just have somebody tell you all about this, and it's, it's pretty cool, you know? And um, yeah, just to see, go through the workings of how a composer goes is, Pretty cool to see it. There's a lot of challenging things there for them. I really took to heart what they showed me that they could do with, with canons with their voice. And I said, well, if they can do that with their voice, and they're learning, you know, some of them are still learning their instrument, um, but I wanted to set the bar, uh, um, you know, set the bar there that I know if they can do that with their voice, then they can bring themselves to do that with their instrument. It, makes, it takes them more work but they'll get there. And because if you can do it with your voice, you have it in your ear. If you have it in your ear, you can move it to your hands. And so that, that process, I, I really tried not to, to um, dumb it down at all with the canons that I wrote for them. So you know, to the last player, to the fifth player in that section, I'm, I've given them the same music. Like you have the same music as the first player in that, in that section. Um, it may not be as obvious when it gets to you, but you have that same music and you can, you're, the expectations, you can try to play it to the same level of artistry as the, as, the, as the most experienced player in your section. I've learned how interesting music can actually be. Like, I never even really experienced the thought of canons, and that's what we're, it's like, a lagged piece of music and it's really amazing how someone can compose that level of music. I would never, I would never have done Playing the canons, it just, everything just sounds so, it's unique that piece, that, that piece is so unique. It's very difficult getting all the counting right and um, knowing when to come in just because like the type of piece that we have is not generally something that we would do so it's like a whole different type of thing that we have to learn how to adapt to.
Mr. Han and Mr. Del Casal really were just very excited to be able to bring a professional composer in to work with the students. And through this process, they have really allowed him to have um, the moments that he needs to share with the students. Um, and they've supported the work that he has created. Um, and they've really just supported the entire uh, project so that the end result uh, is a well put together um, piece of music. First of all, it's a great honor to work with the foundation and Ray, and he is a great guy, and he's a very accepting person. I've learned different ways to try to teach the students something that is beyond what they really can play. And I've learned different techniques and, and ways to get into their learning styles and, and, and find out how I can help them achieve the performance of this piece. And I think everybody, including Ray, has learned things about writing and the tonality and how things sound and how they sound in the concert band and adding the chorus and bringing all those elements together. Uh, you, you learn every day in music doing that. I was really amazed at my select chorus and how they were able to sing the dyads, minor seconds and major seconds, and really sing it with feeling and make the piece happen. I, I honestly didn't think that they were going to be able to do that when I first received the score, but now I'm confident, very confident that they're doing a great job. Working with my chorus and seeing how they adapted to this work, because all the material that they're singing right now is nowhere, not even remotely near, harmonically, what they're doing um, with Ray. And it really was enlightening for me that if you give the kids that kind of material, they'll step up to it. And that was, I, that's what I took away from it. I think this project has been a wonderful project for our school district. Our performing arts department is working extremely hard to offer the best kind of performing arts education that we can to our students um, and, and to really give them all that they need to be successful in the field of performing arts, all of the skills that they need, and I think that this is one of them. Composition is a huge piece of music, and if we don't have composers, then we don't have music for tomorrow. And I think that laying the foundation of this project and having it uh, happen with many of our students in high school has really sparked uh, a sense of creativity that the students may not have had before and I think that we'll be gaining some future composers out of this experience. Most of the music that I like to look at is all normally like in the same category but like this like broadened my view of music. I think we'll be more excited about the arts department since we're getting new things done, things that most other schools don't have the opportunity to get. Well, I'm hoping it'll inspire people to be more passionate about music, you know, and um, show the school that we're actually really passionate, really talented, and that performing arts is really something that's good, and that's, I'm glad we have that. With us working as hard as we are right now, I think it's going to be really good. Like, it's not going to be what anybody expected, because usually we just do different types of pieces from different artists, but they're not as complicated and as unique as this one. So I feel like everybody's going to be surprised, and at the end, we might get a standing O, because it's going to be that good. Um, but to be here in a room full of artists who are trying to do something that is just purely good in the world, create art, create, create music, sound, beauty, singing, um, do something beautiful. Uh, that was just the, a great bombshell moment of satisfaction for me to say we are, all of us here are artists in this room, we're here to bring good into this world and that's, that's all. Mm -hmm.